Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, I want to do this video because something funny just happened. You know, I put on Snapchat, you know, pulling the card of this wicked holiday that we're in today and i said hey if uh if the bible says that yahweh shai would be in the tomb three days and good friday is a representation of when he went in the tomb and easter sunday is when he resurrected then the question becomes uh how the fuck does that add up to three days so then i get somebody some dumb bitch that I don't even fuck with no more, you know. On a on on the comment, you know, it's not a comment board on Snapchat, but she hit me on the inbox and said, "Don't do that." You know, you criticizing people's beliefs. So I'm like, I ain't criticizing nobody beliefs. I'm putting information out there, you know. The fact of the matter is, people follow these religions and they they blindly follow this shit and they don't understand what they're doing. You know, and that's that's the type of situation we're dealing with here. We're dealing with people that that follow religions and they don't know how to um how to explain certain things as simple as how the fuck on Easter Sunday I'm gonna call that shit Keister Sunday, man. Cause you gotta be an asshole to to celebrate that shit with all the information out there on it, you know? But how 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 do you have you know you say two days you actually have two calendar days, but you say, but you go according to the scripture that says it's three days. That's the simplest thing. I could go into how the the Easter egg uh, represents the uh, fertility goddesses and all that other shit, you know. But I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it very simple. Go by the scriptures. Go by the Bible. You know, the same Bible that you Christians claim to to believe in. You know, and I posted the scripture on social media. Not one person commented, because you know what, y'all cut. You know, because on social media, I have a whole bunch of people that are not in the truth, along with some people in the truth, or that know no aspects of the truth. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's like I'm not I'm not I'm not the one to you know force information on people, but I will put it out there. You know, and that's the thing is people don't want to don't want you to even put it out there. I don't force nobody to to believe whatever they want to believe like you know what i'm saying but at the same time i'm going to put out the the knowledge so that you can decide for yourself you know if you're going to keep celebrating easter after i didn't put the the mathematics of it on blast that's on you that's between you and the most high for israelites and this is the thing that that we have to understand right because we we've been going about it wrong for 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 a long time we don't it's not up to us to to uh get mad because a lot of us get mad when people don't see it you know you have to understand something it's not up to you it's not the person stupid it's the person's not you know not open to the knowledge so that's on them they're the ones that's going to pay for it, not you so why do you get mad because somebody don't see it i don't get mad because people don't see it you know you have patience with people sometimes people won't see it then and there but they'll see it later it's not up to us man and that's why you know, we take a different approach now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, like, listen, scriptures say, man, whoever's going to be ignorant, let him be ignorant still. So let him be ignorant still doesn't mean keep fucking forcing him, force feeding him knowledge. No, let him be ignorant still. They don't want to listen. They don't want to learn. That's on them. Our job is to just put it out there. We, we Like I said, we, we have too much. We waste too much energy being mad when people don't agree with us. You know, and the fact of the matter is, you don't have to agree with us. You know, we go according to the book. We go according to scriptures. We don't have we're not we don't have this religious filter that y'all got. We don't look at the Bible and see that that Jesus said three days. And then worship saying, oh, he rose in two days. It's two calendar days, dumb motherfucker. You know, we don't do that. We don't have a like I said, it's not a religious filter. It's not. Uh, a man telling us filter you know if the elders that i learned under if 
in all honesty, and, and this is this is why you have to study to show that self approved. Because if I did not agree with what was being brought out, what I was being taught, I wouldn't be in, in an Israelite now. I wouldn't be in the truth now. I had to see it for myself. That's why we don't do the cult thing. We don't say just believe what, no. You, you, to, to go out the camp with us, you have to believe what we believe. But in life, listen, if you don't agree, you don't agree. I'm not holding a gun to nobody's head saying, come to camp. No. Nah. We don't do that. You know, this is strictly voluntary. You know, if you if you feel that that you have a, a, a choice in the matter, you know, because man's goings are of the Lord. You you have a choice, but you really don't have you think you have a choice. I think that I have a choice to go to camp or not to go to camp every week. Well, I don't, but you know. But I, I feel like it, you know what I mean? I feel, you know, it feels like I have a choice. You know, but I don't because I know better. I know that the Lord is the one that inspires me to go to camp. You know, but back to the original basis of this thing, it's so easy to cut Easter, man. I, I think Easter's probably even easier than, than Christmas. You know, and I'm not saying, listen, you know, I'm not, I'm not raining on your parade as far as, listen, if you want to get together with your family and all that shit and, and, this is the type of day where your job would would accept you being late tomorrow or whatever, you know, or like 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 with Thanksgiving. I don't knock the opportunity to, you know, get together with your family, quote unquote. What I knock is is the fact that you have to do it when the fucking white man says says it with the fucking turkey. You do it the same way he 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 prescribes for you to do it. So the same thing with all these religious holidays or even the non-religious holidays like Thanksgiving is not a religious holiday per se. I know Muslims that celebrate that shit. You know, but the fact of the matter is that these holidays are on false premise. Now, if you want to say, hey, listen, on Thanksgiving, you know, on, on, on when the white man has his Thanksgiving, you know, we take it as an opportunity to get together with family. Fine by me. You know, but don't sit there and have a fucking turkey, have... The fucking cranberry sauce have all that bullshit on your table and say that's not thanksgiving you know plain and simple you know but with that i'm gonna say all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of david salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity to you israelite foreigners come back home to the truth to those that passed away serving the lord the dead in Yahweh shall arise first. Shalom, Israel.